Hi Cancer, how is everybody? I hope doing well. This is going to be your April 2024 reading. For those of you that are new, I'm so grateful you're here. My name is Sam and welcome to my YouTube channel. Guys, we're closing out March, so everyone who participated in the giveaway, check your notifications. Um, two people are hearing from me. The month of April, I'm giving away three free love readings, three free personal love readings. So for those of you that are new, go ahead and subscribe. And new and returning subscribers, leave a flower emoji in the comment section. And at the end of each and every month, I will randomly choose those people to win. And I'll remind you at the end of the month to be checking your notifications. All right, Cancer. Let us, let's see what's coming towards you. You know to take what resonates. And then watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement sign readings. For similarity and additional clarity. Feeling defeated. Spirit is saying don't fear starting over. Overwhelmed, feeling frustrated, feeling rejected. All right, let's see what else. Locked. Move in a new direction. So, Cancer, I feel like there was something that you've wanted, that you've desired. You might have been manifesting your heart out for this specific thing. And I feel like Spirit is trying to redirect you. There's something better that's meant for you. You may not see it in the moment. But there is something better for you. Spirit is saying, not now, not in reach. Endings, yeah. This is definitely on point. But remember, with every ending comes a new beginning. So for some of you, it's been hard to let go of something of the past. Let go of something that hasn't come to fruition for you. And Spirit is saying, let this door close. Something amazing is meant for you. All right, let's see. All right, we'll take them all. We've got Belladonna Visions 28, which is a 10, obviously. Closing out of a cycle. Caution, guidance, clarity, standing firm. And you can see all these tattoos. So there might have been a loss of something or something that didn't come to fruition. And it, it because of that, it has triggered you to be the best version of yourself, possibly go through a spiritual awakening. She's holding flowers that are definitely blossoming. So you're moving in the right direction. It may not be what you had your heart set on, but it is what you are moving towards is your destiny. Drawing down the moon. Channeling stillness and look 28, 29. I really feel it's a time of healing for you. You see this amethyst energy. A time of healing, a time of you being honest with yourself about what you want. Taking back control. And then a card of 11. Look, 11, 11 right here. 29, obviously 11, 11, 11. And the songbird says, final goodbye, release. Guys, for some of you, you've been holding tightly to something of the past. And Spirit is saying it is time to let go. Allow yourself to move forward. Allow yourself to blossom. Allow these blessings into your life. All right, let's see where this reading takes us. For some of you, this is exactly the reading, exactly what you needed to hear in the moment. When I used to listen to a lot of readings when I was going through my growth and coming out of a, you know, a hard time, I used to say before like every reading on YouTube, like, Spirit, give me the sign 
that there are messages in this reading for me. And it would be weird. Like, I would be driving to work and, like, I would scratch, like, my neck or something. And the person in the reading, given the reading, would say, you know, my, I just scratched my neck. So someone, it would be weird. So I'm telling you, if you ask for guidance within readings, because I know some of you are watching reading after reading. If you're asking your spirit guides for guidance, that there's something within these readings for you, there will be, your reader will say something that just grabs your attention and you know. And I feel with this being about endings and moving on, it's definitely for some of you. Four of Pentacles, see, holding back, not allowing yourself that growth. Two of Wands. What this is saying right here is by you holding back and not letting go of something specific, you're holding back your future. You're not allowing yourself to grow or move on. Look at this. This passionate new breakthrough wants to come in. Center of the reading wants to come in in the worst way. The Hermit and the Page of Cups. There is an offer coming in. There is good news. Stay in this Hermit energy for some time. Allow yourself that soul searching, that self evaluating, healing your inner child, activating your higher self. Give yourself some time because there is good news coming in. There is an offer coming in. And it is a passionate new breakthrough. All right, Spirit, why the Four of Pentacles and the Two of Wands for Cancer? Knight of Swords. Somebody coming in really quick may have played the runner type role in your life, took action, brought in a lot of drama and chaos with them. Why the Two of Wands and the Ace of Wands, Spirit? Yeah. Spirit wants you to leave something in the past to move on. To let go of this anxiety and this chaos and this drama. Break free from it. The Eight of Swords is here. It's like the illusion of self-imprisonment. All right, Spirit, why the Ace of Wands and the Hermit? The King of Cups. The Ace of Swords. Cancer. You are moving towards a very emotionally and invested offer you have the ace of wands and the ace of swords this is coming to you very quickly fast moving um beginning like beginning more of the beginning days of april than the later part of april but it is coming in strong it's coming in passionate and it's going to make you feel happy all right spirit why the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords? The Nine of Swords. Spirit is saying no need to worry. Let go of the pain. Put it on us. Let go of the heartbreak. Put it on us. I am telling you one day you will wake up and realize why that one thing did not happen in your life. Because where, where you will be in that moment when you realize that, that that one thing was not meant for you, how much more amazing your life is in that moment. Spirit is saying no need to worry. All right. And what is the final message? All right. The death card. And the Five of Swords. Closing out that chapter of feeling defeated. Surrendering to it, like I said. Allowing yourself to heal, but then growing from it. Because what's coming towards you is amazing. Ace of Wands. Ace of Swords. Emotional offer coming in. Eight of Wands. Finally moving on. So where it was the Eight of Swords, it's now the Eight of Wands. Six of Swords. Could be traveling. 
maybe even thinking about relocating, but there is communication coming in. You're leaving behind the troubled waters of where you felt defeated, and you're moving on to better memories. Feeling very successful about where you're moving, feeling very independent. I gotta say, if there is someone who came in, offered you something very small, and as quick as they came in is as quick as they exited, I do feel that they think about you. I do feel that there is regret. I do feel that this will not be the last time that you've heard from them. However, I feel that Cancer, when they reach out to you, your higher self has, has gone already been activated. And it's like, you know what, I'm good. At one time, I would have given my three fingers to hear from you. But you know what? I'm good. And you're saying it with such a happiness, like such a smile on your face, and such like emotionally content inside that I'm good. It was because you hurt me that now I am living my best life. And look at what just came out as soon as I said that. Yes, there is a huge blessing coming towards you. And it's a breakthrough. The breakthrough that you've needed. The breakthrough that you've desired. It may look different than what you anticipated. It may look completely different than what you thought you would have or wanted in this moment. But it is exactly what you, what you've desired, what you've wanted. But it's just coming towards you looking different. And it's a blessing. Spirit with the sun, no need to worry. And something amazing is coming towards you, Gemini. Look at this. Becoming very mentally grounded about these chaotic things in your life. These struggles. Starting to make head over heart decisions. Feel, feeling really stern about what you want. And not lowering your sword for this kind of, even though it's cute, for this kind of chaos. And something is coming in like a tower moment. Where there has been an ending, it has truly been to realign you with the blessings that you're meant to receive in this life. And I feel a lot of confidence within you, your self-worth increasing. And there is a blessing for you. Guys, if you remember to stop back at the end of April and let me know what this blessing is because I'm excited for you. Here's the ascension lift. And look, something magical coming in. Ascending over the drama, the heartbreak, feeling defeated. Prepare for rapid spiritual growth. Be ready for these opportunities. Anything else, Spirit? And there it is, Unicorn Portal 38. Focus your light. Listen for a message. Your spirit guides have been guiding you all along, Cancer. There is something magical coming towards you. You just have to remember the Four of Cups. It's bringing me that vision. The Four of Cups where the person is looking in the opposite direction with their arms folded, feeling defeated, feeling this. But Spirit is saying, unfold your arms, put your head up, because there is a blessing. See that sun? There is a blessing coming in. All right, Cancer. So much love and light. Go ahead and leave that flower emoji down below. Um, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe. My Etsy shop is on vacation mode. It will reopen the second week of April. Um, that's where I offer many personal readings for those of you that you know, do not know. And I am sending you so much love and light for this month.